Do you need something?
Yes. Here they come. Let's go.
Hello there. What do you need? Which one? Oh, no, it's not! <laughs> 
you doing something with your hair? I don't know how you get it all smooth like that. Do you mind if I touch it? Huh. Sure, if you want. Sonia, you're a little close. It is smooth. Is this seriously natural? Oh, I'm so jealous. My hair's just all dark and bulky. She smells nice. Is this what all girls smell like? Aw, I wish I had hair like yours. But your hair's so pretty, and it smells nice and... Awkward or anything. No, no, it was nice, just unexpected. Night, Yuma. Okay, good night, Sonia. Yes! 
Enemy approaching. Take this! 
We've been spotted. All right. like a dead end. You'd think that, but the old text says something a little different. Check this out. Looks like a perfectly ordinary stone, but if we turn it just like this... supposed to happen? Hold on, just give it a sec. And... Ta-da! No more wall! Should be a dragon shrine in here. Let's go.
I believe that was the only monster present. Let us free the dragon soul and take our leave. Hang on, I found some kind of inscription. Wow, and it's in glyphs. This stuff is ancient. Okay, what do Hmm, looks like a monument to Ragnarok. I'm a little rusty, but the text reads something like... <clears throat> The Great War saw dragons pitted against Deus and its faithful Draco Machina. At last, dragonkind triumphed, and Deus was sealed. But victory came at a heavy cost. Warrior dragons fell in battle by the score, leaving crystalline souls behind. A world dragon's soul herein lies, the airy king and lord of skies. I see. But who wrote it? The high elves who allied with the dragons, I presume. After the war, they must have brought the sky dragon's soul here, in hope that it might finally rest in peace. When you put it like that, it seems like a real shame to disturb it. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Indeed. We cannot allow it to fall into the Empire's hands. I feel bad for the Sky Dragon, but we'd better take it with us. Yeah, here, Lady Kirika. Put the Dragon Soul in this. Is that... Yep. This magic vial can preserve souls. It's basically the same thing as the one Beatrice had. Understood. Now. O oh soul draconic, pure as the firmament, though this vessel is but unworthy, I beseech thee to accept it. That's it. The dragon's soul is safe in here. Wow! So that's how you do it. Hmm? Guys, we got company.
The Shining Dragon had more of an impact on the identity equilibrium than I expected. This calls for further testing. That's enough, Yohim! Stop torturing Et! Well, well, well. Hand them over, or else. Or else what? Please, enlighten me. Take a guess, Big Shot. Maybe you can figure it out for yourself. No, oh, I'm shaking in my boots. But I'm afraid my masterpiece doesn't belong in the hands of simpletons. Then I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Hey, is the Shining Dragon here? Huh? This guy bring a friend? Aha! Your timing is impeccable, Zest. Truly impeccable. Zest? Damn it! Him? Zest? Who's that? He's a knight of the Empire, and they say he's completely nuts. A killing machine. He's never happy unless he's fighting. He might just be the strongest the Empire's got. This could get ugly. <laughs> you are well informed. I suppose the Astorian soldiers must have been telling horror stories about him. Oh, and Zest? That's him. That boy is the Shining Dragon. And they have the soul of the Sky Dragon, if you'd be so kind as to fix that. Come, Et. Our work here is done. Right. Et! Come on. This kid is the Shining Dragon? I expected pathetic, but this... Oh well, he's got three dragon ears with him. Maybe I can still have some fun with this. Yeah! <laughs> 
Good. I see. So this is the Shining Dragon and his merry band of Dragoneers. Not as bad as I thought, but... I'm falling asleep here. This isn't fun. It's just annoying. Uh, this is turning into a real hassle. Don't underestimate us. You may be strong, but we've got you cornered. This battle is ours. Battle? Wait, 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 hold on. You think I'm seriously fighting you guys right now? That was just me saying hi. Huh, you talk a pretty big game for someone who's losing. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? Do you just not get it? Okay, sure. You guys want a real fight? I'll give you a real fight. For you! And one for you! I'll take you all! What's the matter with you? You said you wanted a fight, so I give you one, and you can't even keep up. I don't know why I even bothered. I knew this was going to happen. But you got my hopes up. And now you gotta pay the price, Mr. Shining Dragon. You're supposed to be the strongest of the world dragons. What a load of shit. You have any idea how annoying this is? 
Hey, come on. How many? You can tell me. Pick any number you want. <laughs> How many pieces do you want to be sliced into? <laughs> come on! How many? Stop! Whoa there! No matter what, I won't let you kill my friends! Wow. Not a lot of people get back up after a hit from me. I gotta hand it to you. But now, you're pissing me off! Why'd you stand up, huh? You try to skip the line? You wanna be the first to die? If you want it so bad, then sure. I can make that happen. Come on! <laughs> Fine! I'll save the Shining Dragon for last. You get to die first, and the rest... <sighs> Sonia's in danger. Everyone's in danger. When we fought Genus, I couldn't do anything. I was so scared. I didn't have the courage. This time, I'm going to fight. I have to save Sonia. Dragon. Grant me your power. Grant me more. More than ever before! Well, that's interesting. A little more feisty now, huh? What? Saw your friends in trouble and decided to fight for real? <sighs> Come on. This sucks. You can't bring out your power for your own sake? If all your strength depends on someone else, then you're weak. You know, your life isn't gonna mean anything if you stick around with a bunch of weaklings, right? Guess that's all you're worth. You and your pathetic little crew deserve each other. Ugh. Talk about a letdown. <sighs> yeah, I'm not even feeling this anymore. Killing guys like you isn't even worth the effort. Nothing personal, but you just aren't that interesting. <laughs> Later. He's gone. Guess we got lucky this time. Thank you, Yuma. If it wasn't for you, we'd be dead. Yuma? <gasps> Sonia! Are you okay? No. He's losing control of the dragon's power. What? What happens if he lets go? If he unleashes the Shining Dragon's full power, it would be enough to annihilate the shrine. Maybe the entire region. No! Yuma, listen to me. Get a grip, man. You're gonna hurt someone. <laughs> this isn't working. Kirika, how do I help him? I promised him. If he lost control, I promised I'd stop him. Just tell me what I have to do! 
Calm yourself, Agnum. I am a Diva Magica. It is my sacred duty to commune with the Shining Dragon. Allow me to reach out to him. His mind seethes, but I can calm him. Right. Sorry. I'm counting on you, Kirika. Your radiance. Can you hear my voice? Zest is gone. The threat has passed. Please, be at ease. No one here means you harm, so please... Milady! Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Your Radiance, I beg of you, please, open your heart! She's not listening! Stay back, it's too dangerous! No, but I'm a Diva Magica. Why can't I? Kirika, let me try talking to him. You, but... But how? Even my lady couldn't do it and she's a Diva Magica. I know, but I have to try. Yuma, are you in there? It's me, Sonia. down and look at me. Yeah, I'm here. It's okay. Can you listen to me for a little bit? Zest is gone now. You saved everyone. Thank you, Yuma. But please, you have to calm down now. You're gonna hurt someone like this. This isn't you. You wouldn't hurt the people you just fought to protect. You wouldn't let that happen. No, it's more than that. When you come back to your senses and realize what you've done... ...you'll hurt yourself most of all. I don't want that to happen. So please, Yuma, calm down. You have to come back to your senses. Sounds like someone's calling me. Who is that? Okay now. Huh? Something, Something about, about this feels so familiar, but I can't remember why. But something about Sonia's voice makes me feel so calm. Yeah. Looks like he's at least transformed back. Come on, 
We need to get him back to town. <laughs> Yo, back in the land of the living? Agnum. You're looking a lot better now. Less scales and teeth, too. Oh, right. I tried to use the Shining Dragon's power, and then... Right, I... Sonya. Is Sonya all right? Oh, you do remember, huh? Look, don't worry about it. We know that wasn't your fault. She's pretty tough, you know. Well, we've got her resting in her room right now just to be on the safe side. <sighs> hey, come on, look at me. I told you, you don't have to worry about it. But I'm the one who hurt her. I knew I couldn't control it, and I still tried to use more power than I could handle. I've... I've always been scared this would happen, and still... I just... thought it would be okay this time. I thought I could handle it. But I wasn't thinking rationally. I mean, it's kind of my fault too, right? I promised I'd get you back to your senses, but when it came down to it, I was pretty useless. So, all I can do is apologize. Honestly, man, I'm really sorry. Agnum, you have nothing to apologize for. But hey, all things considered, I think that proved your training's paying off. Huh? Think about it. You lost control, but it didn't go as bad as it could've, right? We're all still alive. You kept yourself from unleashing the dragon's full power, so your training's definitely helping. But Sonia was the one who... Sonia helped you out. That's fine, man. She's your friend, and it's okay to rely on your friends. If it's still too tough to control all on your own, then we're gonna be there to help you out. You can count on us. But you keep using that power, and trust me, it's gonna get easier and easier to control. So don't worry if you can't handle it alone yet. You're gonna get better, but until then, we're here for you. But... Not sold yet? Okay. Let's say you screw up again, and we get another taste of freaky dragon Yuma. This time, we'll all stop you. What? We just proved it's possible to get through to you. So next time, it won't just be Sonya. We'll all be there. Everyone would. Yep, everyone. So remember, no matter how bad things get, we've got your back. Sound good? I guess, but that means next time, I might hurt all of you. Hey, don't think like that. We learn from our mistakes. Have a little faith. I mean, uh, he might end up chewing on us for a bit. But we've been training too. You can't eat us that easy. Lucky for you, cause, uh, we probably taste terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Agnum. I guess I'll try just believing in everyone. 
Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you really do think too much, man. But yeah, uh, might be a good idea to check up on the girls. Specifically, the girl who risked her life for you. I'm no expert, but, uh, she probably deserves at least a fist bump. Huh? Oh, right. You think Sonia's awake yet? Probably. You ought to go say hi. Right. Thanks, Agnum. Is Sonia here? Ow! Huh? Ow, ow, ow! Emma, can't you be a little more gentle? Oh, listen to you gripe and complain. A real knight would scoff at this kind of thing, you know. Why, my uncle. You can't compare me to Captain Burroughs. He's built totally different. Ah! Ow! <sighs> it's my it's fault she's in all that pain. pain. I, have I have to, to apologize, apologize to her. her. Oh, if it isn't Yuma. Yuma, what a relief. I'm glad you're looking better already. We were all so worried when you collapsed. Huh. Thanks. Did you want to talk to the princess about something? I'm just about done here, so if it's all right with her... Of course. <laughs> then I'll be downstairs. Thanks, Emma. So, you want to come in? What's wrong, Yuma? Something on your mind? I won't take up too much of your time. I just... wanted to apologize. Sonia, I am really, truly sorry. It's because of me that you're hurting. Huh? Hey, Yuma, it's really okay. You don't have to apologize. If you hadn't called on the Shining Dragon, we'd all be finished! I can't believe I let that guy beat me up like that. Ugh, I'm getting mad just thinking about it. The point is, you don't need to be upset, okay?
Look, Yuma. You can't let something like this bother you, all right? dragon stuff, I mean. You don't need to beat yourself up because you lost control once or twice. Nothing ever goes exactly according to plan, right? Especially with that kind of power. the damage and you suppressed it in the end that's pretty amazing on its own i think i know you'll be able to control the power of the shining dragon i believe in you Yuma, even if this happens again, we'll just stop you, I promise. So don't worry so much. It's just funny. Agnum said pretty much the same thing. He told me to take my time getting used to the power, and that you'd all stop me if I lost control again. <laughs> Figures. I guess we're all thinking the same thing. Right? Hearing that from both of you makes me feel a lot better, though. And I feel a little more confident now that I know everyone's watching out for me. I'm going to work hard, Sonya. I swear I'll find a way to control the Shining Dragon's power. Yeah, and I'll be with you every step of the way. I think I'm starting to see. Perhaps this is why Sonya succeeded where I failed. I always presumed the Shining Dragon and Yuma were one and the same. 
But if I was wrong... Yuma, I was so sure I knew what you are. Perhaps it's time I learned who you are. This must be it. Hmm. Its power still lingers. The dragon must have been on the verge of complete madness. No sign of damage, though. No matter how powerful that boy's keepsake, it could never suppress the full power of the Shining Dragon. Hmm. But that leaves only one possibility. That boy suppressed the Shining Dragon on his own. Hmm, I didn't think him capable of that. Does the boy possess some power beyond my understanding? Hmm, Yuma, was it? Perhaps he's the one. Perhaps he'll lead me to the truth. Left the Shining Dragon. Duh. He's hopeless. Not even any fun. If that's all he can do, you don't need me to capture him. Georg, you do it. Hmm. Well, I suppose it could have gone worse. You showed uncommon restraint simply leaving him alive. But was it really too much to ask that you take the Sky Dragon's soul? Dragon soul? Right. Yoahim said something about that. Sorry, totally forgot. Zest. Obtaining the Dragon Souls is in your best interest, not merely ours. You do understand that, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. I'll remember next time. Enough of the Sky Dragon. We determined its location, and that is victory enough. We will have our chance to reclaim it. Our primary tasks are to find the souls of the Sea Dragon and the Dark Dragon, and to analyze the Earth Dragons.
The Dark Dragon's soul in particular would be a great advantage. My sources tell me its power rivaled the Shining Dragon itself. My father's wish demands we acquire the Shining Dragon, but that can wait until we have collected the others. Georg, continue your investigation into possible sites for the Dragon Souls. Understood. Our troops are currently scouring the land for other potential ruins. How goes our analysis of the Earth Dragon? I note Yoahim is absent. Hold up in Galeritz, I believe. Infatuated with the one world dragon soul we've acquired. Hmm. It would appear everyone understands their role. I expect the same level of competence in your duties henceforth. I declare the council adjourned. You've all done fine work. Feel free to leave at your leisure. Yes. By your leave, Your Highness. Is something wrong, Beatrice? I note you remain. Hmm? Your Highness, I'm your personal attendant. It's my job to stay at your side. But what of your duties? I imagine Georg is eager for today's report. Whatever do you mean? You needn't dance around it. Your true mission is to spy on me and report my actions to the Church. <laughs> so you knew. And how will I be punished? Will I be condemned? Dismissed? Or perhaps... Why? I have many needs, and you are a capable enough attendant. You will remain at my side. Oh, that's... unexpected. Why? You seem the only member of the Sanguine Church worth my trust. I think you're mistaken, Your Highness. I'm a Dark Elf. You know they say we're all born traitors, don't you? I disagree. I believe your face betrays more than you do yourself. And how's that? Whenever you leave my room to report to Georg, I see the flash of pain across your face. I see desperation in your eyes. You truly didn't realize? <laughs> A person so burdened with guilt might be a traitor indeed, but not in heart. That is my view of it. Is there anything more you need, Your Highness? Not at the moment. Understood. I'll be taking my leave then. <clears throat> hmm. After Mom died, I moved to an elven village. Considering I was a vessel for the Shining Dragon, they treated me well. Thanks to the villagers, I led a comfortable life. But behind their respect, they were terrified of the dragon inside me. So no one ever talked to me more than they had to. I never really had any friends either. All I remember about that village is that I was always alone. Always so lonely. I guess that's why I ended up disobeying my mom and started running off to play with the Shining Dragon's power. As a dragon, I could fly anywhere, roll boulders around, knock down trees, like having my own playground. When I was the Shining Dragon, 
I felt like I could do anything. It was so much fun. Every time, the Shining Dragon would tell me to go as far from the village as I could when I used his power. I didn't really think too hard about it. I just figured it meant the villagers wouldn't get mad at me. It was only later that I found out why he was warning me. And then everything was... painfully clear. Well done, everyone. Thanks to you, the soul of the Sky Dragon is safely in our hands. Any dragon souls you find, including the Sky Dragons, will be safe here in the castle. Keep up the fine work. Oh, but Sonia, how are your injuries? It's nothing too serious. I see. That's a relief. Your opponent must have been fearsome indeed to land such brutal strikes. No, it... The whole thing was my fault. Shh! Yuma, he doesn't need to know that. What? You're gonna get everyone worked up over nothing. Just keep quiet. Uh, that's Zest. Strongest in the Empire and stuff. No wonder she got hurt. He's practically a dragon himself, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Quite. Well, come on. Uh, Burroughs, any word from our scouts? At present, there's no information on Imperial movement. No reliable information, anyhow. Things being quiet as they are, we've no plans to mobilize the Princess and her team right now. I recommend they stand by in town until the boys in reconnaissance have something worth reporting. Stand by? But we can't afford to waste time. Rest isn't wasting time, milady. A knight's got to keep her strength up. Be ready for any new battles on the horizon. We've said it time and time again ever since you were a child. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I... I guess you're right. Okay, we'll wait for your orders. Indeed. Use this time to rest, everyone, and build your strength once more. Excuse me. Care for a song?
Thank you.